So it's a Wednesday night and I'm just like in the mood to cut some things. Hi guys, I just got home from work and I'm kind of just in the mood where I want to DIY some things and I have a bunch of t-shirts that I have thrifted from the thrift store, obviously, and I just want to make them cooler. So here we are today. Don't have any idea what I'm doing, to be honest. We're going to start this off slow. I'm going to make this a series. Well, I don't know if it's a series, but I'm going to do lots of these videos because I want to be more crafty and make cooler things out of thrift clothes. So I'm starting with some basic shirts, some solid crops. Might get a little crazy. I might ruin some shirts, but that's totally fine. That's part of the process. And uh, let's see what we can make. But hello, if you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on that bell notification. And uh, if you're new and or old here, give this video a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. Say hi, hello, hey, what's up? And follow me on Instagram. So let's start with something basic because I know exactly what I want to do to this and it's nothing too crazy. So I have this green shirt that I got from the Salvation Army and uh, yeah, it's pretty ugly. I felt like a 12 year old when I wore this the other day, but I like I tied it up in a little knot, made it cuter, but I decided I need to crop it. So I'm going to crop it. Rule number one when you're cropping something is you don't want to crop too much. You might accidentally cut too much off, so you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go try this on and see where I want to make my cut. Okay, so here we have the shirt. This is the before. So I want it to be pretty cropped because I wear high-waisted pants. Okay, so I'm going to mark this. Probably shouldn't be using a Sharpie, but it's fine. I'm very professional here. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm pretty much just going to do a straight across line is what I'm thinking. So remember when I said don't cut too much off? <laughs> That's exactly what I did. But it's okay. It's a little short, but it's fine. I just wanted it to be... A little longer but mistakes happen this is why i should have followed my own advice but you know can't win them all but you know what it's fine i'm gonna wear even higher waisted pants like some black high waisted ripped jeans with a cute belt i got a cute top for two dollars that looked like a 12 year old would have worn it before so you know what i'm winning so next up we have this denim button up and you guys these studs are amazing um, but it's way too long and not my style so let's make it my style I want to crop this fray this make it cooler duh oh, everything's falling apart including my life all right let's crop this you guys I'm gonna crop less because less is more start by buttoning it up well actually yeah let's button it up let's do small small cuts I'm gonna start with a small cut and then we can go more To give it a little bit more of like a frayed look because I really want this to be like really frayed I'm gonna take my scissors and kind of just like scrape along the sides it's e easier with like normal denim and this isn't really denim but I just want it to be a more messy so I'm just kind of pulling these frays out to make it more edgy and even just like cutting my scissors into the fabric All right, let's try this on. All right. So now we got ourselves kind of a cropped, edgy cowboy jacket. I think this is cool. I love it. You can even have it open or you can have it buttoned up. And I like these little frays coming out. It's cool. I'm glad. Happy with this. Next up, we got this very oversized Vans t-shirt very oversized I would wear this to bed but I want to make it more of a v-neck maybe with like a little collar and let's see what we can do with this I kind of just want to everybody I've acquired a pencil okay let's see what I want to do with this You guys, 
I barely did anything and it went from being a shirt that I slept to in bed to a shirt that I'm actually gonna wear out. I think this is really cute and like, like grungy in my style and I like the neck. I wish it was like tight, but it's fine. It's kind of like loose, like chill vibes, you know? And um, I was gonna do something with the sleeves because they're a little bit long, but um, you know, it's just like a loose baggy t-shirt. Do off the shoulder. You know what, I'm into it. I like it. I'm doing the simplest crop tops here, but uh, we're gonna step up our game. Not in this episode, but the next. It is honestly so easy to transform a shirt. You guys watched me transform 30 different shirts, three different styles, super easy to do. There's always ways to crop things and make things look cooler, and uh, you never know. I made these shirts a lot cooler, and I'm actually gonna wear them now, whereas before I didn't. So. I am super happy with the outcome, even though they were basic. Um, I'm definitely gonna do some more extreme ones later on, so subscribe for that. I wanna get more into this um, DIYing thing, I like it. Today was just you guys coming along with me and having fun in my room and me just messing around with some shirts and um, just having a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one, bye.